There's a giant under ice. He just ate this one. You're watching Canadian Mountain Man, your guide to Canada's wilderness. You ready to go, Finn? Let's go. Another nice morning out hiking around looking for some mushrooms. Greg is making his coffee. And I went on a little hike here. I'm starting to see a pattern of a few mushrooms that are coming that indicate that there should be more golden chanterelles around here. I have found some more winter chanterelles and some good developed ones. I'm going to hike down. Hope you enjoy our adventure today. We've had a blast. It's been a great time up here. We've seen whales, humpback whales, killer whales, porpoises. We've picked mushrooms, caught fish. Gregor got one. It feels pretty decent too. So. And the adventure's just begun. It is starting to rain on us this morning. And it's kind of a dark, dreary morning. Been a great morning already on the beach. We're getting rolling. We're going to go foraging for a bit and then go salmon fishing and catch a halibut, maybe. Keep our fingers crossed. This is the breakfast of champions this morning rock fish, rock crab, some mussels steamed, and some winter chanterelles in there. Not a bad view either. Just waiting for the water to get to the boat and we'll be on our way. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What a good shot. You can see it fighting the wind up there, eh? Pardon? You yeah, can see really. it fighting the wind. It's coming though. Yeah. I usually just grab it. Not man, if the propellers hit your finger, ooh, that hurts, man. Like a pro. Yeah, I'm getting good, better with it. I'm, I'm not an expert, but that was good footage.
This is a pulley system I made. I put the anchor out there at low tide. Let's see if it works. What do you think of this anchor system? Yeah. I'll have to shorten the tag line to it. Then the boat don't dangle around as much. But it worked. Picking some fresh mussels right off the beach here. Here's my lunch. We went out fishing this afternoon. Didn't have any luck, so we forged these up. We had a challenging day. We're gonna go take a peek around for a few mushrooms. We went fishing. And the fish weren't biting. We ended up catching three crab. So we'll cook those up. My little system for pulling the boat out is working awesome. I'm taking another afternoon hike. Looking for gourmet mushrooms. Look all through this area. Some more winter chanterelles. Those will be going in the bucket. I'll be leaving all the little guys. They're so small, it's not worth it. I'm gonna follow along at this elevation. It's pretty early for mushrooms this time of year. To find all these is kind of a rarity. You do find little patches in microclimates where it's just gotten cool enough that it's triggered the flush. Either way, they're gonna be tasty. I'll fry those up. I just did this side hill, didn't really find very much. There's other mushrooms, but nothing that I know that's edible, nothing gourmet. I can feel the lack of food right now, climbing through all this gnarly stuff and along these side hills. I'm a little bit out of breath. And uh, a lot of that is we haven't been eating a lot. We've been eating good, but when you don't get carbs, and you have a high metabolism uh, it wore out pretty quick and you need a little bit of energy well, I'm looking forward to feasting on these mushrooms tonight I seen something up in here I thought that's why I'm climbing around but oh it's a false alarm it was kind of the right color but the wrong mushroom this is how high I climbed Quite the rugged stuff. This is a sheer drop off right here. I came out on a different angle. This is the kind of stuff you have to watch for. You wouldn't want to go off the edge right there. I'm going to track back over to where I came up and found that last mushroom and uh, try to catch my breath from climbing so much. But I think it was worth it. gnarly country I'm kind of out of breath I climbed all the way up here it's about 800 feet up up this hillside you can see how gnarly it is and I came across these chop those up amazing Greg will be surprised I got back to the camp Ran into Greg, and we decided to capitalize on the tide. The boat was still floating, so we're going to go out and try and get the evening bite. Grab some dinner to go along with the mushrooms that I got. Hope we catch something. Well, I hope we get something or else 
not going to be great as far as the food goes tonight. Only mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Mushrooms. Nothing, Greg. That's wild. I think we need to take yours out deeper. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's go out them. deeper. Just sound like a good plan. We're gonna put it right out, right out there. And the fish weren't biting. And we can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store. We're gonna go look for some golden chanterelles before it gets dark. And chef those up with some rock crab. Golden chanterelle. We were feeling a little bit desperate on the food intake, so we went for a last minute raid to the mushroom patch. And Greg, he got some awesome moss to make his bed more comfortable. Take care of uh, your favorite YouTuber the best we can. <laughs> the food has been a bit lacking today. We're gonna cook up some rock crab and some mushrooms. And we look forward to resting our weary legs. So we have a chanterelle. And uh, we got some chicken of the woods. We found out there as well. The... Uh, Chanterelles are still far preferable, I think, to the chicken of the woods. Um, they would have all been way better in butter. But, well, Joe and I went out fishing and checking the crab traps. Old Finn, he decided to eat the whole pound of butter. So now we, uh, I said we were going to use butter. We don't have butter now. So now we're basically steaming our mushrooms instead of cooking them in butter and our fish so thanks a lot Finn thumbs up to you <laughs> be sure to tune in next week for the rest of Greg and I's adventure please remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching